Let yeah. me come back at this. You see, what I find intriguing about Peter's answer is mathematics doesn't come tumbling out of absolutely nothing. The concept of the null set is not absolutely nothing. And it takes a creative mind to develop the mathematics out of what he calls absolutely nothing. So the analogy would be that the universe can, by a creative mind, be created out of absolutely nothing. That's point number one. Point number two is the universe reflects mathematical structures, but I think we want to realize that mathematics doesn't cause anything. Newton's laws describe what will happen. They don't cause motion. And it seems to me that's a profound mistake that I, I, I see in a number of books as if mathematics could create the universe. I mean, math 2 plus 2 equals 4, but that never put 4 pounds in my pocket. It doesn't create anything. And I would go back to the fact that I agree with Peter. On the basis of a naturalistic science, it is a vast mystery of how we have this universe. And I would go further that and I say that the only answer to it that makes sense to me well, that's is... No, 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 just yeah. a minute. I'm not finished yet. Yeah, we can explore the mechanisms as much as we like, but our explorations and the very way we do them is, as a totality, pointing towards a mind behind them. And that didn't hinder science in the 17th century, and it needn't hinder science now.